see this is supposed to finish hmm? there are some things you can't eat with fork you have to eat it with your hands hmm? look at me looking for fish around what did you finish everything plantain no everything is finished hmm? This video i'm going to be showing you how to make um, fish sauce um, fish sauce that i'm going to be using to marinate all my fish um, i hope you enjoyed this video and um, thank you for watching and i will hope to see you shortly it's a bright and sunny day here in london so i just thought you know what let me just do something outside in my garden um so we're doing a first video outside in the garden this way so i think it's going to be very very interesting as you watch this particular video i'm going to be making fish sauce and i'm going to be using this fish sauce um to marinate uh, my my fish and of course i'm going to be using the of course for some other but you feel free to adjust the recipe but this is the basic one that i use um i'm gonna be using scotch bonnet i'm gonna be using some ginger um of course blending the ginger the garlic the red pepper yellow pepper and green, green pepper that gives some kind of flavor and some color in it i'm also gonna be using some garlic as well and of course i mentioned i'm gonna be using onion spring onion is very very important in making this particular fish sauce that i've been using for years this is a tested recipe that i'm sure you're gonna enjoy when you make it at home um, of course coriander is very good which is also very fresh i'm going to be using some of this and um, you can see thyme on the table here yeah, i've got thyme i'm going to be using that very important here i've got some mixed herbs here which i'm going to be using and in the midst i've got thyme uh, majoran parsley oregano sage and basil a little bit of this so we're looking about a teaspoon of this i'm going to be using that rosemary goes well with fish if you don't know so i'm going to be adding a bit of rosemary there you might i want to ask the quantity of the rosemary i'm going to be using i'm going to be using roughly around a tablespoon of um of rosemary in making the sauce now this is my secret recipe in case those who have been eating my my um my fish grill in in in, in barbecue parties um they kind of wonder ah oh, can you do well i'm going to try it open now i'm going to put a bit of dust to your pepper in it and you know when you blend it together and, and and you now cook it in a pot it gives you this kind of very very good flavor and the way i do my fish i grill it first then you put the sauce on it and then you now wrap it in a foil i don't just put it directly by doing so you will really enjoy it because it helps the fish to be firm and all the seas all the sauce goes into the bone and the bone retains it and the flavor just explodes in your mouth when you're eating it that's exactly how i do my fish and i tell you it's a banger when you try it in my own way um i've got my fish uh, um um crayfish flavor here i'm going to be adding a bit of crayfish flavor um, sea salt is very important in making this particular fish sauce. Uh, I'm going to be adding some fresh tomatoes to that as well, which is very important. So some fresh tomatoes will go with that. And what the fresh tomato does is just helps, you know, the fish itself to just absorb the moist, um, which is very good because sometimes it just dries up and you just want it to be moist, not to dry. And of course, we're going to add a bit of oil. I love using my sunflower oil. For those who have been watching my cooking, they know I am a, a fan of sunflower oil. Maggi, Maggi liquid. This is a magic. And you know when put a bit of it into into your your food it gives it that taste um, um another option is if you don't want to use um um the, the maggi sauce you can use a soya sauce so, you know so you have the option of either using the maggi um aroma um liquid or you can use soya sauce but i choose to go for the maggi liquid anyway so it's good so what i'm going to be doing i'm going to blend some of this together and i can't wait to show you this because you are so gonna love this video stay tuned you know and if you're new to my let me just say this quickly if you're new to my um, channel please subscribe and press the notification button give us a lot of thumbs up and i'm sure um you're gonna love this video um i'm going to be frying some plantain you might be looking oh what is the plantain doing is it gonna blend the plantain come on i'm not gonna blend plantain to make my sauce but you can come up with your own recipe to do that you never know um but yeah i'm gonna be frying that and with a bit of yam as well and i'm going to be putting it in the foil with the fish after grilling it so all infuse this into the the the, the, the juiciness from the fish infuses into the fried plantain and the fried yam oh my god you can't wait to do this um during the summer i'll give it to your visitor and um, so please you know stay tuned enjoy this video and i hope to see you shortly in this video i'm going to be using as you can see i'm going to be using um 500 ml of oil um, to blend all the pepper the red pepper the onions and also to blend the coriander the thyme and the scotch bonnet so i'm gonna move it close to me so putting the onions there 
So I've got three onions there, okay, and the red one as well. So I'll just drop the pepper in. Okay, I'm gonna be adding tomatoes as well. So you add your tomatoes. Right, so we're gonna add the tomatoes as well. So I've got four tomato, fresh tomatoes that I'm gonna be using in this video. So four tomatoes. So we have one yellow the left. So we're actually going to add to that. Two yellow pepper and two red pepper. Now, what I've done is to wash my spring onion, so I use a handful of spring onion, which we're going to be using. Um, of course, we're going to be using ginger, chop the ginger, put everything in there, squash bonnet. See scotch bonnet, put it in there. The garlic goes in there. The thyme goes in there. Everything goes in there, and of course my parsley uh, goes in there as well. Actually. So now I'm just gonna blend that. I know 500 ml of sunflower oil and I'm gonna be using 500 I'm just gonna show you that so it's 500 I'm just gonna pour that into the blender tap this is too full but don't worry it's gonna blend it very importantly all right and also I'm gonna add um, my spices I'm not gonna add my spices, I'm just gonna blend it first, then I'm gonna add the spices later. So what we're gonna do now is just to blend this first, then um, we're then gonna add the spices in the middle of it. Right. So now we're just gonna add our spices to it. Uh, what goes into it now? Let me get my spoon. So I'm gonna add one teaspoon of rosemary. So one teaspoon. One teaspoon of rosemary, which is good. I'm also gonna add one tablespoon of my herbs. So I'll add one tablespoon of my herbs. Also, I'm gonna add one tablespoon of salt. We add one tablespoon of salt. And we had one tablespoon of uh, one tablespoon of my um, seasoning, which is going to go in there. Two tablespoon of the aroma liquid. All right, so I'm going to add two tablespoon of the aroma liquid. Let's see. That's it. This is your pepper is made by me. If you want to watch the video of how I made my suya pepper, please feel free to watch my video on suya pepper. It's very important. All right, so now that we have everything gone into it, um, it's very important. So I'm going to blend it again, make sure everything is coarse, and um, then I'll cook it. So we're going to blend it again. Let's give it a good blend. Um, you might want to leave it like this. It does not really matter. You can use it straight on your fish this way um, It's looking good. So I'm just gonna um, cook the sauce for like 15 20 minutes uh, on the low heat and um, By doing so what I, it will help me to preserve it. Okay um, That's it really so 
so you can see that. I've actually cleaned with lemon, which is very good. I'm also going to be using red bream and crocker fish. And the stock fish is called Panlai in Nigeria, and this is um, this is tilapia fish as well. I'm going to be grilling this on the charcoal grill, basically. And and after grilling, I'm going to then put it in the foil, and of course wrap it up with the sauce. Um, of course, I'm going to be using some sea pepper as well, which is again I've got my own secret ingredients here. I mix this together. Maybe someday I'm going to be showing a video how to make my rub, so you don't have to buy it from the shop again. So I'm going to put more in the charcoal. Right, so what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to spread the charcoal to cut onions and I'm just going to rub the onions on the, on the, on the crates, basically. So, you just rub the onion on the crates and, you know, basically that's how I sanitize it. That's it. Then I'm just going to put my rub on it like that, okay? Just make sure the rub it might be a bit... I mean, you can use a brush if you want to, you know. I prefer just using my own hands, really, because it helps me to dig deep into where all the areas and all the corners I want the, the oil to go into. As you can see the fish is there now so i'm just going to cover it and i'm going to leave it to grill all together we're looking around 40 minutes to 50 minutes every 10 minutes i am going to be turning the fish to make sure that it's grilled properly so we're just going to cover that um the temperature now in the uh, um, barbecue grill is around 180 to 220 degrees celsius and um, that's the range we're looking at here um 15 minutes now so all together 20 minutes 22 minutes all together i'm just going to check now wow so i'm just going to check the crocker fish first can you see how it's doing? Can you see that? Can you see that? This is so beautiful, All right? So we also have a bit of way to go there. And the tilapia, put on the tilapia as well. It's cooking nicely, grilling lovely. Uh, I'm going to do check the stockfish because it's in the center, isn't it? So, wow, just look at that. Just look at that. I love this. So, you know, we're going to be marinating that. Some sauce and stuff. Let's look at, oh, this is uh, um, uh, catfish. Let's check out catfish. Wow, wow, just look at the catfish. This is beautiful, you see? Well grilled inside, you can see, well grilled inside. Bring it close to the camera, you can see that. It's lovely, yeah? So I'm gonna take the catfish out now, and the red broom, let's take the red broom. Mm, it's almost there, almost there. Um, that's it. So, um, yeah, so I'm just gonna get the catfish out and push my tilapia to the middle um, um, and that's it really right this fish has been cooked for 30 minutes now so what i'm going to do i'm going to put it to the, take it to the table and then marinate it with um suya pepper or my um uh, fish sauce that i've created okay right so it's been grilling so what i'm going to do now um is i'm going to take the catfish as you can see it's well grilled i'm just going to release that in the foil let's see just push it into the foil it's looking so so nice. I'm just gonna put it in the middle. Yeah. So at this point, I'm just gonna put a bit of like two yams with it. Um, put some two plantains with it as well. Now with the sauce, this is when we had the sauce on it. Okay, you can add some one more yam. Just like that. It's looking so so nice. See? I'm um, just gonna then add a bit of sauce on it. some sauce on it just look at that just have a look at that add some sauce put it on the yam as well see it's looking so nice then i'm gonna use my brush to pass it around then i'm gonna have the onions of like uh, in, on top of it add some honey on top of it this 
we're gonna put some tomatoes as well in the middle like that see tomatoes my tomatoes in the middle of that like that then we're gonna add some pepper some pepper to that right so as you can see i've done what i've done to the catfish i've garnished it with my sauce of course with the plantain and some yam there then we're just gonna roll that up now you need to use lots of foil okay in this situation i am going to be using lots of foil to make sure that it's all um, wrapped in properly okay right, let's check the fish wow the tilapia fish and the crocker fish is ready so brilliant see right so the that's the um that's a catfish there with the fried yam and the fried plantain all wrapped in with the sauce with um, fish sauce it's just all locked in there for the tilapia fish we're going to be using a different method so i'm just going to get the tilapia out of the grill as you can see it's all well done properly and that's exactly what we want for our fish so got that ready brilliant that's it all right and i'm just going to i'm just going to add my yam so i'm going to put two yam to the side i'm going to put two here as well Garnish it with some plantain. See, garnish with some plantain. Then I'm gonna put some tomatoes as well, which is important for this particular meal. I'm gonna cut some tomatoes. And I'm gonna throw some onions as well. Okay, just some onions, very important. And um, for this one, put some bell pepper. And we're gonna add suya pepper for this particular. Tilapia. I'm gonna have some suya pepper to it, so this is the yellow pepper I'm adding to it now. I'm gonna add some suya pepper to this one. Okay, so just be generous with the suya pepper. Sit. See. Then, underneath the fish, just turn it slightly. Remember to put the suya pepper under the fish. And you're also gonna put it on top of the fish, just like that. All right. Then we're just gonna wrap this up. Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna take this on the fire and let it grill for 10 minutes. All right, so as you can see, our catfish, is, catfish is doing well. So I'm just gonna turn that. Okay, and I'm gonna then put this as well and just close it. All right, um, it's been 15 minutes now. The fish is ready. So I'm just going to take the fish now. And uh, basically, uh, I'm just going to show you what it looks like inside the catfish. And also, I'm also going to show you what the tilapia looks like inside. You can see it's steaming out now, which is fantastic. So I'm just going to take this to the table and I'm going to show you shot. Can you see that? This is brilliant. Let's bring it to the camera. Can you see that? exactly what we're looking at have a taste of this and uh, see ah we are long we are long this is so nice man very hot and nice you know what the sauce of the fish has gone inside the, the plantain I can't, I can't fault it you know i can't fault it look at the yam let's have a look look at the yam can you see the sauce it's, it's no more white inside it's, it's taking over you know, the coloration of the yam. <laughs> I'll open this one. I'll open this one for you to see as well. And see what is going on. Let me put this one back. Oh, look at that, though. Look at that. I don't know if it's empty. Huh? Huh? The catfish is so nice. Imagine. This is the tilapia. Let's see what the tilapia has to offer. Ah! Look. Oh, look at that. Huh? Look at the fish. Hmm? Oh, my God.
I'm not using fork. Oh, you look cool. That's the problem. Ah. Uh, there is that go. Anyway, I'm really glad. Thank you so much. I hope you next time. See? Is it supposed to finish? Hmm? There are some things you can't eat with fork. You have to eat it with your hands. Hmm? Look at me, looking for fish around. What did he finish? Everything. Plantain, no. Everything's finished. Is it supposed to, is it supposed to finish? Let's go there, boss.